If you run a business in Australia, you will most likely know that a lot of the goods and services you buy and sell in your business are subject to a 10% goods and services tax, called GST. However, some products and services are not subject to 10% GST, and they will be classified as either GST-free, input taxed, or BAS excluded. Welcome to Bullseye Money, the channel that helps business owners like you understand finance. And today, we're going to learn what BAS excluded means in relation to Australian GST. Put simply, BAS excluded is another name for transactions involving products and services that are out of scope of GST law. This means that any transactions that are BAS excluded will not be subject to 10% GST and do not need to be included in your activity statements. Some of the most common BAS excluded or out of scope goods and services are wages and superannuation, depreciation, loan payments, dividends, stamp duty, gifts you make to charity, council rates and water supply, and private transactions. This is not a comprehensive list, so be sure to check with your tax accountant or the Australian Tax Office website for more examples. So why do you need to know if any of your business's transactions are BAS excluded? Well, if you run a business that is registered for GST in Australia, you need to lodge activity statements. These statements help you report and pay different types of taxes, including GST. Any transactions that go through your business, such as stamp duty and loan payments, do not need to be included in the GST section of your activity statements because they are out of scope of GST law. This goes for income, expenses, asset purchases, and any other transactions that happen in your business. So as you can see, it is important to ensure you categorize your BAS excluded items correctly in your bookkeeping software, or you may end up making mistakes on your activity statements. In other words, you may end up paying GST on items you shouldn't, or you may end up claiming GST credits for items that you did not pay GST on. And one more thing before you go, you may be wondering if payroll transactions, such as wages and superannuation, are BAS excluded. The answer is, yes they are. So there is no need to include these transactions in the GST section of your activity statements. However, wages and salaries are subject to a different type of tax called pay-as-you-go withholding tax. Because of this, your payroll transactions do need to be included in your activity statements, but not in the GST section. This is because wages, superannuation, and other payroll transactions are BAS excluded. So you do include them in your activity statements, but in a different section to the transactions that are subject to 10% GST. So that's it for this video. If you want to learn more about the other types of transactions that are not subject to 10% GST in Australia, check out our videos on GST-free and input tax transactions.